Early in the morning. Welcome back to the channel, guys. You already know who it is. It's your boy Cam, Topical Juice. And I'm back again with a second video of the day and my second story of the day. And this is a funny story of how I got fired from my trial shift slash day one. I might as well get straight into it to be honest, there's not much else to say. I <laughs> please hit the like button to support the channel. Please subscribe if you're new and please hit the bell to be notified to see this ugly mug. So, similar to my last story of the day, I was about 16 around this time. And I think, was I 16 or 17? Either way, it was like my first official job. My first official job. Because my, I got my, um, my first, my first like working job was working in the Olympics. So I, I, my, my first ever job was working in the Olympics. I worked for two weeks. They wanted to fire me as well. <laughs> oh my God, this story, this, this is gonna be funny. Um, so yeah, and then I basically needed a job afterwards. I needed some money. So a lot of people in the area at the time were getting like lifeguard qualifications. You get me? So people were paying like, I don't even know how much it was. I think it was like either 200 pound or like 500 pound. It was quite a lot of money. It was, it was actually really expensive, really expensive. And I'm so grateful for my mum at the time forked out the money to pay for me to do a lifeguarding course. So I did a week long lifeguarding course and you have to do like practical stuff. So you have to do like, um, I had to do mad diving-ish and deep diving here and flipping uh, CPR and like uh, how to save people's lives by swimming with your two fingers under their chin and you got a doggy paddle this way but your chin's over there and you're swimming and you, but you can't make them drown and that like it's, it's two jokes. Some of the skills, some of the skills have never left me actually. Like I would, I would remember how to save someone's life in that way from that skill, so from that um, program, whatever. You get me? Anyway, so. A week goes by. Ah, oh, it was it was a struggle as well because I had I had like afro slash dreadlocks and I couldn't really get them wet. But it wasn't like it wasn't like proper like locks like these like nice. I like these like proper locks. It was like um proper dirty like afro -y natural locks and I didn't really want to get them wet. But like I firmed it. I got my hair wet every day, looking like a flipping poodle or something, like wet dog or something every day. So basically, I'm I'm, I'm asking around. I've got my CV or whatever, created a CV and showed my qualifications. Or my qualification, <laughs> my like my life got a qualification, and I get a I get a position or I get like an offer an, an offer from a school in a place called Lee in, in South East London. So I'm remembering the story as I'm telling it. I now rock up to this place. I rock up to this school in Lee, and you know I'm in my I'm in my normal clothes, and then they they give me some clothes to change into, and they you know they're talking to me, they giving me they giving me paperwork to fill in, and you know fill this in, fill in your bank details, fill this that and the other, and what we'll do is we'll just have a first you know this will count this as your first shift, it's a, we'll call it as a trial shift, but we'll count this as your first shift, and what will happen is going forward we'll give you more we'll give you more shifts, you know I'm not too sure if it was a zero hour contract or there was actually a or there actually was a contract. I'm not, I think there might have been a contract like one, maybe like once a week or something like minimum twice a week, something like that. I don't, I can't really remember. But I just, I just needed bread. I needed money, and I've done, I've done a lot of things for money. I have got no shame. You know, from selling snacks or something, selling food in school, to flipping, delivering Chinese to, to whatever else. You get me? Like, um, I, I, I got, I don't care. I'll, I'll happily <laughs> flipping be a lifeguard and make money. You get me? So. Anyway, so I'm thinking, amazing, like, let's let's get the bread in, you get me? So, I think it was only, the, the tra I think the shift was only, it couldn't have been more than four hours. I think it was a two to four hour shift. It was something very light, <laughs> very, very light. But Cam being Cam, I get a bit bored. I'm a bit restless. So I imagine now, it's, it's midday. So like, no one's there. No one's there, it's empty. The pool is barren, empty, big ass, pool in this school, it's like a leisure centre type, almost like a leisure centre pool. I'm sat there on this high thing, twiddling my farms, just looking, looking from the, looking from the water to the little ring, you know, that floaty ring, to the water, to the ring, to the letter S on a sign. Like, I'm bored, you get me? Like, I'm literally, I'm looking at my nails, I'm looking at my feet, I'm looking at the water again, like, this is long. So, I'm restless, I'm restless, I need to go for a walk. And it, there wasn't nothing wrong with that. Like you, you were allowed to like, you were allowed to walk because you had to, you had to like tidy some areas up and things like that. So, you know, there was no one in there. I thought, okay, cool. 
Well, I, I thought you were allowed to go for a walk anyway. <laughs> but like, I'm overseeing the water. No one's in the, in the pool. So I go for a walk. I come across the gym. You know, my manager ain't really about, or the person that was meant to be hiring me ain't really been about. So I'm just walking around. I see the gym and that. Like, obviously, I'm quite young. I just started to get curious about the gym. This was just before I started mashing work in the gym. So like, I was curious. So I'm still coming to terms with the machines, it's that. So on my walk, I come across a gym. You know, I, you, you got the pool here, you go through a door, the gym's there, you know, my manager ain't about. So I'm thinking, yeah, maybe I can, maybe I can just play around in the gym for a bit, you get me? <laughs> I clearly forgot that CCTV exists. <laughs> So I'm walking around the gym now. I, I jump on the bench press, I'm benching away. I'm like, yeah, this is litty, free gym. I'm thinking that my mind's working. I'm thinking I can work here, get free gym membership. I'm throwing the bench up, I'm doing some bicep curls. I, I walk around here for a bit, look out, go back in the gym, stare at carry on benching. Anyway, obviously my man has now come down <laughs> and seen that I've been benching in that. And he, to, be, to, to, to his credit, yeah, he actually, was all right about it for the photo, like he, to my face anyway. Like, so I literally got. I'm so tired. I use a flannel to just like wake me up, wake me up sometimes. Just spare around with that. It's very thinking about the. F um, very tired. So he comes down. And he's like, "Oh, like what are you doing?" And I was like, "Um, oh, like oh, like straight away." I'm like, "Oh, like yeah, no, like no one was in the pool. Um, so I literally just wanted to come clean the gym. Oh, you saw me on the bench, but that was literally just me like testing that it works. Like I was just testing that everything was was running smoothly and stuff, and like probably probably turning on the sales tactics. Like, oh yeah, like, I was just going for a walk, and yeah, like I, like I saw that the I saw that the bench was looking a bit like dusty, and I just wanted to maybe pick it up and like use it for like ten reps and just see if it like with the dust would go and clean it." And, like, <laughs> So he's like, oh, okay, um, would you mind um, just going back to the pool then? And I was like, oh yeah, cool, like, no problem. So anyway, fast forward, the shift's finishing now and I go back up and get my stuff, I change and I'm, I'm like, like, I'm expecting that like, there's gonna be paperwork to, to fill in and stuff. And basically we don't really talk about it, it's a, bit, it's a bit of an elephant in the room. So he goes, oh, you know, thank you, thank you for coming in, I appreciate that, but you'll get paid for today's shift only in the next, say, five to six days or whatever it was. And I'm thinking, cool, like, I'm not, like, there, there isn't no, I'm not thinking that I've done anything like too wrong here. Like I'm thinking, oh, I might have bust this. Like, like was that against the rules? Cool, cool, cool. So obviously I was expecting to get some shifts going forward. One week goes by, no, no shifts, like no, um, no confirmation of anything. I'm like, okay, interesting. Like I, I, I give him a call, no answer. I'm like, okay. Um, I, I give him an email, no answer. Couple weeks go by, like I'm, I'm a bit confused. You get me? Anyway, I finally get through to the person that was meant to be hire me or whatever, and uh, he basically tells me we're not hiring you. Like, there's no way on earth that we hired you when you left the the pool. Like, you breached safeguarding and, and health and safety and this, that, and the other. Like, we have basically terminated the contract that we we're going to give you, basically. And um, yeah, like, don't, don't don't come back basically. <laughs> and I was thinking, I was like, oh, I was like, I was like, my mom can't know about this. I was like, my mom actually can't know about this. And somehow, yeah, somehow, I don't think my mom ever knew. She knows now, she knows that I got fired for benching or whatever. I think she knows that. But it's in like, I'm, I'm trying to remember of what, how she didn't know at the time like what excuse I gave as to why I wasn't getting no shifts. Cause the reality was my mum actually just forked out to get me this qualification for me never ever to use it. <laughs> actually, you know, actually I'll tell you what, I did get use out of it because I think I've still got that on my CV, you know. <laughs> 2011 lifeguard RCA or whatever, you know, the dumb, dumb qualification is. So anyway, that's just another short story of my poor decision making, my idiocy in this life, just walking around, going into the gym when I should be working and not giving a sh not giving a, a flip about safeguarding, which I should have done. But you know, I was young, I was young and stupid. And again, we live and learn, don't we? So I thought I would just drop a couple of story times today just to, just to separate the topical stuff with some different stuff. So I hope you enjoyed a light kind of harmless story like that, potentially harmless. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.